Man, it's your boy, Air, a.k.a. Young Guy, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon. I, man, they get it to your real raw rugged, and I'm back in this thing with another review. Just kicking out the reviews. And we have Victory Lap this time with Nipsey Hussle. This is probably my second time ever talking about Nipsey Hussle, but the first time actually going into, like, depth. Was never a fan of Nipsey Hussle. Always thought Nip Nipsey Hussle was some serious trash. I could not stand him. Didn't think he was a rapper. I don't know why. I just, you know, never was a fan of this young man. So when I heard he was dropping the album and everybody keeps telling me to review it, Hey man, best believe I was ready to pull out the toilet tissue, you know what I'm saying? I'm call that goddamn wipe my ass quality, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> dig it all up in there, you know what I'm saying? So, but hey, I gave it a fair listen, and this is how I felt about it, man. This review is brought to you by that piece of hut, you dig? You know, and um, yeah, first track, Victory Lap featuring Stacey Bart. Now, this starts off like it's gonna be a pop song. Already, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to hate, bro. I'm like, come on, man. What is what is this nigga doing, bro? Ain't, ain't you cripping blood? Like, bro, ain't you cripping? You know, like, what do you think I'm making a pop song for, man? And then the beat changed, and this nigga starts spitting. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Look what I done got into, man. So I'm like, I was incredibly wrong by Nipsey Hussle. I'm so sorry, man. This nigga started spitting on this shit, man. What he said, this ain't that weirdo rap that y'all used to. Fire, man. That nigga trying to hashtag restore the feeling. You know what I'm saying, man? Shout out Troy Yeah, man. A.K.A. Mr. It was him. You know what I'm saying, man? A.K.A. Mr. Take the Stand and point at that man. You know That boy Trey Ave said he gonna use two fingers on that nigga. <laughs> he said it was him. Him, goddamn. He gonna use two fingers. They know who that goddamn talking to. So, yeah, man. Shout out to that guy. He said we playing chess, not checkers, niggas. 38 special for you clever niggas. Ah! Well, that's what we doing now? That's what we doing? Okay. Okay, Nip. I apologize. I ain't know who was doing that, man. 38 special for you clever niggas. What else? Go. Go, man. What else, man? That's a bar, man. That's fire. So, hey, I was like, is this, if this is what we finna get into the whole album, I'm down. Rap Niggas, second track, very simple song. Probably the most, like, you know, like, just go-to song, like, very straightforward. Nothing really too, like, out of the blue about this song. Just a regular rap song. But then we go to the last time that I checked. Man, this nigga snapped on this right here. Him and YG. This make you just want to goddamn throw up a C sign. And last time that I checked, you know what I'm saying? You want to, you got to dip down. It's, hey, man, you, you got to goddamn hit one where you dip down and come back. Man, that shit make you want to see walk, boy. That shit is so fine, man. Hey, man, this is a hard song. Shout out to YG. He did his thing. Uh, Nip did his thing. Fire song. And then we go to Young Nigga, young nigga excuse me, featuring Puff Daddy. Not P. Diddy. I did it, not brother love. We got damn Puff Daddy. This is how I knew it was gonna be some vintage goddamn Puff Daddy, man. Some Michael Cole shit. Vintage Randy Orton. <laughs> vintage Puff Daddy. Take that, take that. You know what I'm saying? Where is Michael Cole when you need him? Cause Puff Daddy was talking his shit through the whole entire song, man. Fire. He said, uh, this nigga Nip said, nigga, he said, nigga said he don't need an ID at his bank. Hey man, that's some like that's some young scooter type flex right there. Nigga said he don't need an ID when he uh when he had his bank. A young scooter flex, I'll define that in a later video, but just know that's a young scooter flex right there. Nigga said he does not have an ID, or he does not need an uh, ID to use his bank. That's crazy. Uh, what else he said? He said, uh, fuck a Ford dealership. He was doing this whole illership thing. Uh, I'm really sick, my nigga finna really shit, and really shit. Fuck a Ford dealership. We in Ford's nigga with. Like, he was just snapping, man. I'm like, goodness. Like, I ain't never heard Nipsey rap like this, bro. I don't know if this nigga gonna goddamn sign his soul over to Illuminati, but I don't know what type of piece of the devil he got inside of him, but this nigga has been snapping on this album so far. I'm like, yo, is this the same Nipsey Hustle, bro? Like, <laughs> Is this the blood nips and hustle? This ain't the crypt I, I know, bro, because this nigga's been snapping right here, man. This is basically, this whole song is like a don't be good, nigga be great type song. You know, like basically trying to push black man like, yo, as a young nigga, you got to do this. You know what I'm saying? When I was a young nigga, I wasn't even up on this game. But since you a young nigga, listen to this, I'm going to kick this game. So when you my age, you'll be 10 times ahead of me. You know, so very, very fire song. I mess with it hard. And then we got a dedication feature in K-Dot. Man, I love the little auto tune that he do. I ain't playing. It's a dedication. Like a little, little auto tune he put in his voice. That was fire. But goodness gracious. K Dot, man. Why you had to do it to him, K Dot, man? This nigga K Dot got them blacked out, bro. This nigga caught out what he said, bro. He said, um, he said, uh, when you take an L, don't cry, embrace it. Minor setback for a major comeback. That's my favorite. Uh, well, he was just slapping all over the shit, bro. Like, goodness gracious, man. K Dot didn't have to do that shit, but woo! Man, k Dot went off, but goddamn Nipsey Hussle got me feeling black. Boy, he don't got me feeling black. <laughs> he don't got me feeling African-American. He don't got me feeling just a regular black. Like I said, that nigga got me feeling black. You know what I'm saying? That nigga got me feeling black on this song right here, boy. 
what that nigga said. That nigga was saying some crazy shit, man. That nigga said, uh, he said black man is genius, but they don't give him no platform to explain it. Nigga, what else, nigga? Talk that white man don't want to see a black man talk about nothing if it ain't about dribbling no ball, if it ain't about rapping no words, if it ain't about no big booty whores. So they don't want to, they don't want to hear a black man speak no intellect so you can intercept and they can intersect inside your medulla angata. You know what I'm saying, man? They don't want to see a smart black man. A smart black man is the most dangerous man. Let's talk about it, man. They don't want to give him a platform. Let's talk about it. He was just talking that shit, bro. That nigga said, I need some real nigga reparations before I run up in your bank for recreation. Ah, oh, this nigga robbing niggas for fun. He don't even need the money, bro. Nigga's a millionaire, bro. Nigga, give me that shit. Yes, yes, you're a millionaire. I'm doing this for fun. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm doing this for my slave ancestors, bro. Come on, man. That nigga sliding all over this hole right here, bro. What a song right here, man. Nipsey Hussle strikes me as the type of young man that would kill George Zimmerman and probably do the time for it. Like, he would go and murder George Zimmerman and goddamn go to the jail cell and hit one of these. <laughs> like, how you doing? You know, that nigga will proudly do his years. Well, I can see that nigga doing some shit like that. Nipsey Hussle just give me that. That, that nigga restored a feeling for real, bro. <laughs> that nigga, he restored a 1960 feeling. <laughs> that nigga want to go punch a white person in the face after listening to this album, bro. Fire stuff right here, man. This whole song is just, ah. I mean, it's almost took up half of the back of this pizza box right here. Like, he was just talking shit, bro. The way he said, this ain't entertainment. This four niggas on a slave ship. Man, like, he was just talking, bro. Like, this album is ridiculous, man. This album is ridiculous. Uh, what else he said? Um, he said, uh, I own my masters. I'll be damned if I slave for a cracker. If I slave for a white cracker. <laughs> yeah, I don't want no goddamn uh, type of misconception, nigga. I'm talking about a white cracker. <laughs> I don't know if you thought I was talking about a goddamn cheese cracker. I'm talking about a white cracker. But I nigga want to throw it out there. Man, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, this this whole song is, like, unbelievable. And the end of the song sounds like rodeo era of Travis Scott to me. Just, like, a very dark vibe. I don't know if you listen to, like, the end of this song. Think about how, like, Travis sound on rodeo and picture that. That's what it sound like to me. Anyway, off of that, Blue Laces 2. Then, like, bro, how you gonna go from that song to the sample? Like, come on, bro, come on. I'm sorry, Nip. I'm sorry, bro. I ain't know you had it in you like this, bro. Like, this nigga rapping over a sample that I can imagine Wayne rapping over. Baby, it's been so long. Like, goodness gracious, bro. Like, he was talking to niggas on this right here, bro. What that nigga say? He said, uh, he said they killed Dr. Seb because he was teaching health. I fought with Rick Ross because he be teaching well. Huh, baby? We need a home right there, man. Rest in peace, Dr. Sebi, man. Do your Googles on who that is. That's fire, man. Like, he was just talking over this shit right here, bro. And the beat just perfectly laced what he was talking about. It was like a very just like Dom Kennedy type beat with a Lil Wayne sample. Like, oh my goodness, man. Goodness, good, man. That shit was good. <laughs> you know, I shot the Booker T, man. That was fire. Chat number seven, hustle and motivation. Uh, this sound like the J, um... Uh, heart not life, the the boom, 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 like the little bass in the background. That's what it sounded like to me. Fire song, though, very, very good song. Uh, then we go to Status Symbol Three featuring Buddy, man. This song is ridiculous. That nigga say, almost forgot what I was doing, almost forgot where I was going. I've been driving, I've been smoking. Hey, can you imagine being in a car with a nigga and he got damn driving and shit? And you like, bro, you just passed my house. That nigga just like zoned out smoking this shit. That's like a dangerous ass nigga. But all these musicians do not know how to drive. But not nigga I want to be in the car with, man. <laughs> hey, who you want to ride with? Shit, not Buddy over there, you know? <laughs> hey, Buddy over there need to go with Buddy over there, man. Cause I ain't around with that nigga, man. So yeah, Buddy wildin' on this shit right here. But it's a very hard song, man. What you say? It's that trip, 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 trip. Riding around smoking by myself. I do it so well. Like, this is fire right here. I fuck with Buddy. I don't know who Buddy is. <laughs> but Buddy can't drive, but Buddy fire. You know what I'm saying? Buddy, I don't want to be in the car with Buddy, but I like being on the song with Buddy. Because Buddy fire, man. So yeah, shout out to Buddy, man. This is a hard song. And then we go to Sucker Proof. Man, this shit was dirty, man. Like, oh, this is all, this is... This is damn near I ain't watched my neck in three months type music right here. This shit was dirty, man. Pop at you lane because I'm sucker proof. Ooh, pop at you lane because I'm sucker proof. That nigga just going to kill a nigga if he think he a sucker boy. That nigga say he's sucker proof. You can't even come to the vicinity of his vicinity, goddamn. That nigga was sliding on this, man. He said things you can't buy at this city. Loyalty, love, respect. And niggas will extort you out your check. Ah, man. I'm getting mistaken, man. A nigga will extort you out your check, man. Let's go, man. Let's talk that credit cards and the scammer shit, man. That's fire, man. 
And then at the very end, it was like a Jamaican guy that came and did something. And I really wish Young Thug was whoever got at the end when he was like, um, Panther, these, these streets so dangerous. These streets so dangerous. I can imagine Young Thug, these streets so dangerous. You know how Young Thug be going crazy. Nigga, Young Thug would have been crazy on the end of this song right here. Young Thug, Nipsey, please link up and redo that, man. Put put, uh, put Thugger right there, man. Thugger, take that song to fucking Mars and Jupiter, man. That song is ridiculous already. But Thug on it, woo! Man, listen, just listen to that part. That street's so dangerous. And then think about Thugger saying that. These streets so dangerous. Yeah, like, nigga, that'd be crazy, man. That's fire. Anyway, great song. Then we go to Keys to the City featuring T-Field. I was introduced to T-Field by YG on My Life, or My Crazy Life. Hard song. He did his thing on here. He did a lot on this song, actually. I thought he was going to be like a little small feature, but he actually, he let him get his rocks off. Fire. I fuck with it. Uh, grinding all my life. Shout out to, uh, what's the nigga, Hit Boy? I've been grinding all my life, nigga. Fuck you talking about? That was hard. But nah, anyway, this, this grind on my life, also another, another very, very solid song. Then we go to A Million Why You Young featuring The Dream. Now, this song right here is basically about making them, you know, making that guap while you young, man. Try to get that money. Basically going back to was the young niggas basically saying like, bro, at, at my age, I would have died to know uh, this like, you know, age. I mean, at my age, I would have died to know this at a younger age, you know, because you think about reflecting, you wouldn't even know that. But now that he's a grown man, he's a little older, he want to be on that now. So he's basically spitting game for young niggas to come up with, man. What he said, I could tell y'all how I came up similar to how you come out of a grave, huh? Oh, that was hard, man. <laughs> That nigga said his his come up similar to niggas coming out the grave. That was fire. Uh, you was in the house and never came with the runaway slaves, huh? Uh, talk that house nigga shit, man. Go. What he said, uh, he, he was spitting all over this shit, man. You ain't really about that. You just going through a phase, huh? Man, I know so many little green niggas, bro. Niggas don't really be on that type of time for real, bro. Niggas, oh, bro, my quote of the day, bro. Niggas is always gangster today in a gangster situation, bro. Everybody gangster today in a gangster situation, bro. And that really show you who really own that, and that show you who going through that phase like Nipsey talking about right there, man. That was fire, man. Shout out to Nip for that song right there, man. And by the way, shout out to The Dream. Uh, shout out to you with 10 is the best clean version of a song of all time. Because in the dirty version, he said, shout out to you the shit. But who wants to say that? And bitch, how do you with 10? Way better. Anyway, fire song. Uh, loaded, I mean, uh, Loaded Bases featuring CeeLo. Man, that, that hook. I mean, not that hook, but that sample. Oh, man. Nigga, he won on these samples, bro. These samples is ridiculous, man. I really do love these samples. I really do love this sample and every other sample on here, man. That sample is fire, man. What he said, nigga ain't finna make a million in these streets. I'm gonna end up in somebody precinct, or even worse, laid up in somebody hearse. Oh, man, nigga, talk it, bro. These niggas be wanting to live that shit, but hey, man, there's only two outcomes, man. Majority of the times, and he just laid it out for you right now, so that was fire. Shout out to CeeLo Green. He did his uh, he did his numbers over here. Very, very good song. And then we got a real big feature of Marsha Ambrosia. Uh, what he said, a low song, fucking on a young bitch while a folks home. Hey, what a menace this nigga is. <laughs> Why, man? You got her mom downstairs when you pounding her puss. Like, can you imagine going to a girl house where her grandma's like in the living room and you're upstairs taking her pound town? You're ridiculous, man. <laughs> what a menace this young man is, man. But very, very, very good song. I actually liked it. I didn't know how it was going to sound with Marsha, but it was fire. Oh, man. Double Up. Track number 15 featuring Belly and Dom Kennedy. Belly did his thing on here. I ain't know if Belly was that fire, bro. I heard a couple of Belly songs, but I ain't know he be singing too. I just thought he was a rapper. So yeah, Belly did his numbers on here, man. I was very impressed with him. Very, very like laid back song. It was a perfect song to put Dom Kennedy on. Uh, if you were gonna put him on uh, Blue Laces too, you gotta put him on this right here because these are like some of the most laid back songs on the album. So yeah, two thumbs up for me, man. I really enjoyed that. And then we go to the last track, uh, Right Hand Number Two, uh, Right Hand to God, excuse me. Man, this beat is crucial, man. Like, oh, man, nigga, this beat is dirty, bro. And then he was spitting on this song, too, bro. He was just like, man, what he said? What he said? My girl, she a C-note. I'm more famous than C-Lo. Came in with the mean note. Like, that nigga, woo! What, man? Hey, that's all I got to say about this album, man. My, hey, if you've had to rate this album, man, I don't even know what I would say, man. Because I, I did not like Nipsey, bro, before this album. And I think I'm a Nipsey fan, man. So, Nipsey, thank you for converting me, brother. Keep doing what you do for these black people out here, for promoting black businesses, you know, going to hoods, talking to these young kids, you know, doing all that, man. I see you, baby. So, yeah. Uh, until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters don't hate it.
gonna play. Holla at your boy, man.